Bratislava is the first summit during which we discussed the common EU future of 27 states without the UK. We will not continue business as usual to move the EU forward. We have discussed the Bratislava roadmap, which sets out the objectives for our work ahead of the Rome meeting in March next year, when we want to conclude this process. We are determined to continue our cooperation with Turkey and Western Balkans, but also to establish migration compacts with African countries. To do everything necessary to support member states in ensuring internal security and fighting terrorism. To strengthen EU cooperation on external security and defense. I hope that the Bratislava summit will lead to the renewing of trust and confidence in the European Union. Today I can say that there is a hope. Well, I was very pleased that today we were able to agree on the Bratislava Declaration today and we have sketched out uh, a Bratislava roadmap uh, which we could describe as a shared political uh, intention of the heads of state and government of the EU for the coming months. So, in that sense, I think we can say that the Bratislava summit has been a success. I must tell you how satisfied I am that the European Council, and I think all, all leaders join me in expressing this satisfaction, um, I'm very satisfied that my uh, speech on the State of the Union before the European Parliament a few days ago has been welcomed. I noted with great uh, satisfaction that one of the cent centerpieces of my speech was um, welcomed, and that was a unanimous agreement on the digital agenda, which is essential for the modernization of Europe, it's essential for our economic growth, and it's essential if we're to create new jobs. So we now have a working agenda which, in the spirit of Bratislava, will enable us to make progress over the coming months.